I don't even know what this is. Well, well, it's called Kids. It's made by the same person that made Plug and Play. And uh, I, this is the first one, but the second one worked better as an intro. So if this looks like something I've streamed already, it's because I kind of already streamed something very similar to this a while back. So, so it's just, you know, the perfect start to a s Sunday stream. And, uh, and, and you just do stuff like that and, and you throw them down the pit. Now, look, I know a lot of kids don't like adults. And I know a lot of adults don't like kids, but that doesn't mean you gotta throw them down a fucking pit and murder them. It does? What are you talking about, chat? Come on. Anyway, welcome to Sunday. Tonight, we're going to play this game. Cooking Simulator. We're going to play, um, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color Trash. And then getting weird with it. Now, I may have too many things to stream. I have a backup plan, if I do. Alright. YouTube is now unlive, reverse live. Hang on a second. Let me just get everything all set up volume wise. All right. Hi, hello. Um, hello. Hello. Uh <laughs> Hi. Yeah, it sounds about right. This way. We're going back to the pit? Good. Oh, this tells a story? This way. This way? What's this way? This way. This way. No, that way. That way. Vinny, can you explain the YouTube thing? Is it a joke? God. Well. I'm, um, not allowed to stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time, which is why I actually, um, I took down YouTube today, everybody. It was me. I did it. YouTube was down for several hours today, so, uh, I took it down for everyone. That was me. Oh, what is this? No. Um, question, would you prefer to see the mouse cursor to see what I'm doing or not have the mouse cursor? So, see mouse cursor, not mouse cursor. See? Uh, I see a lot more C's, okay. Oh, God. Are we going into the, the butt? Well, first, the stomach. Butt censored. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Who would make something like this? Come on. Come on. My done, put me back. I know, I know it's from the developers of Plug and Play. That was just a general... 
I, I mean, I don't know what the general, um, you know, idea was behind this game. Like, I, I don't know if the people that made this are okay. Like, we'll just make a bunch of... Stick figure baby people getting shit out of a fucking mysterious, invisible anus. That's how I would pitch this game to my publisher. I'm sure there's a deeper meaning. This way. No, that way. No, this way. This way. No, 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 this no. Way. Yeah. That no. no, this way. This way. That way. No, this way. Agreed. Yes. Agreed. Yes. This way. <laughs> More. More bodies from Mantarok, the god of meat. This is basically the plot of Eternal Darkness, where they just drop a bunch of bodies so they can create a flesh pillar to summon the eldritch gods into the world. Something like that. I mean, without adult supervision, this could be... You know, this- this could be school, if they just put a giant pit in the playground. Like, I wonder. Oh, now I can save them. Like, I wonder if you take, you know, a real-life situation, and you put a bunch of really young kids without adult supervision, and you put a pit in the middle of the street or the playground, how long would it take for a kid to jump in there, and how long would it take for others to follow that kid? I, like, I'm sure there's, there's some kind of weird social experiment that someone would love to discover. But instead, we have to do it through video games. If all your friends jumped into a pit, would you jump in too? Yeah, I mean, when I was in school, every teacher would say something like that about a thing. If Bobby, Tommy, and Lucas, and Ness put thumbtacks on everyone's seat, does that mean you have to do it as well? And the answer is yes. Trying to figure out what's happening here. Oh, I know what's happening here. Okay, we're, we're just killing more children. That's fine. This is very cathartic for some of the members of chat, I can tell. I get it. It's an allegory. It's an allegory for being in the womb. <laughs> uh, why are we doing this again? It's, it's, oh God, what's this part? What's this part? There's more. <laughs> There's more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop doing that game. Can we, like, never cut back to this sequence again? Thanks. I don't need a traffic jam of people inside some kind of fucking esophagus or colon. It's- it's been rather uncomfortable. New York City traffic jam simulation. Yeah, no thanks. I, I'm not- I'm not a fan of the undulation, if I can use that word. 
And this, everyone, is how, how children are born. From the sky. From the sky esophagus, of course. Wow. I can't believe how advanced video games have, have gotten since 1992 where you can fit this many people on screen all at the same time. And this is why we need a PS5. And everyone clapped. Everyone clapped. Everyone stood up and clapped in the bus because Albert Einstein was there. And he stood up to the big bad bus driver. I won't do it. You do it. No, you do it. Huh? And the bus driver's name? Robert Oppenheimer. No, you. No, you. Yes, you. All right. What do we do? What? <laughs> It's like sending someone out to, like, sacrifice themselves. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah. He has to shut down the reactor. No, he's a bio-robot. He has to go onto the roof and uh, clear out the graphite. We're going back to nuclear power now. Swim up. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, but yeah, I mean, peer pressure is a very real thing in school, which is, you know, it's the number one leading cause of, of, of um, teenage smoking. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fuck up. What am I? What am I talking about? But then, if you fight the peer pressure, you may feel like you're alone in your class. Everyone's following the trend and dressing like Cardi B, but you're not. And so you make it to the other side where you can be really creative and find your own music. And maybe a couple others who also didn't dress like Cardi B can join you. Someone said her full name is Cardigan Backyardigan. Going hard like Cardigan Backyardigan. Oh yeah, the cream rises to the top. Yeah, we're gonna rise to the top. Yeah! The Pukamaniacs swam down. The Macho Madness swam up. Man, I got every kind of reference here tonight. We got Robert Oppenheimer. We got Cardi B and, and Hulk Hogan and Macho Man. I mean, we're really hitting the highs and lows of, of culture. Which is why everyone's clapping for me right now, because I, I'm, a, I'm very good at making good references, apparently. I did it. <laughs> this gets weirder and weirder. Now, if you close your... <laughs> If you close your eyes and you listen very closely, it sounds... like a bunch of people plopping into the water. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my god. Again. Fluid noises in this game are fucking ridiculous. The Foley... I don't know what they did, I don't know how much time they spent get just getting weird, like, gross fluid noises, but they succeeded. Some say... that the Foley artist for this game... actually stuck a microphone down his own... throat... and digested it. Really took one for the team. I wonder if you could do that, with like a micro... Microphone. You know what I mean? Like, could you, like, put a microphone in a, in a, like a... ...airtight... ...like, pill? And then just let it record everything in your, um, in, in your, uh, stomach and esophagus and your, uh... Alright, I'll stop. Someone said I'm fucking eating. Well, it's not my responsibility that you're eating. I'm not gonna stream around your eating schedule. This is what it feels like when you don't like Cardo B and everyone else just doesn't want to get near you. Or actually, <laughs> this is a convention and the dude in the middle did not wear deodorant. I'm very familiar with this. Just walking through the halls of a convention and then suddenly an entire aisle is like cleared out. And then you're like, oh, I wonder why, I got the aisle to myself, and then it's like... Oh god, no. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Is he gonna drop? Is he gonna fall? I'm waiting for him to fall onto the people. And then I can hear... Mono in chat just said, I hope that was deleted immediately after use. Nah. Nah, I still got it open. I mean, how many fucking times did you see that guy talk about being a wizard? I was like, oh, I'm only gonna play it once, chat. Like, one time. We drank the blood of some people. No. That way. Agreed. Agreed. Yes. That way. Agreed. That way. Yes. 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 That way. Left is bad. No. We're, this way. We're not gonna go left because there's a giant pit everyone wants to fucking fall into. And, uh, and then get, like, digested and pooped out. So we don't want to do that. All right. That way. I mean, maybe you like getting digested and pooped. I don't know.
this is like really mesmerizing to look at. I'm sure the bitrate is um is very conducive to this kind of gameplay and this kind of visual. I'm sure it doesn't look like some hot garbage right about now. Some real real hot garbage. It's fine actually. Oh, okay. That, well, it looks like people are saying it's fine. That's weird. Okay. Don't go near, it's the sirens. They call to you. If you jump overboard and try to get to the siren, they, they kill you. I guess... There's a pit no matter which direction you choose. This is actually very reminiscent of World War Z. No, no, not World War Z. Right? Is it World War Z? Yeah. The only thing I remember from that movie was the fucking giant stack of bodies. Can we ever fill the pit? No. You can try. You know, some people fill it with drugs. Some people fill it with people who drank the blood of people who drank drugs and became wizard. Some people fill it with Gorn. Which, as we all know, is the dude from Star Trek that Kirk fought. The lizard person. Uh, you know, it's one way to do it. Much like the pit, I feel empty. I mean, I'm glad I streamed it. It worked. It was great for a couple minutes. Doesn't overstay its welcome. And, um... I mean, I wouldn't expect... any less from the people that made Plug and Plague. Sorry, Plug and Play. Plug and Play, which, again... is good. I streamed it. It's not Plug and Plague. I have a video of it from years ago. On, uh, on the channel somewhere. Thank you for playing. Now it all makes sense. That's the story. Thank you for playing. I guess you could revisit each scene. All right. How did it make you feel? How did it make you feel? I'll be the therapist this evening. Because I feel like Spider-Man. Uh, let's move on to the next thing here on this um, blessed day of uh, our Lord, Sunday. <clears throat> I feel like I had to. See, now I'm closing. I don't need it anymore. It's gone. It's definitely gone. You won't hear that again. Um, but since I mentioned it a couple times, I may as well, I may as well hit you with um, something else while I'm here. Because you may enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. We drank the blood of some. Wait. We drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs. And now I'm a wizard. <laughs>